Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Florist at Duke Trivia. My name is Megan Rodriguez. I'm with the Department of Resident Life. As always, um, we're going to have a series of trivia questions. They will have multiple choice answers that you can choose from. Um, after we go through those questions, which are about 20 this time, then we will go back through the questions with the correct answer so that you can score yourself if you'd like. This is just for fun. We're not going to be collecting um, your answer sheets, um, but we hope you challenge yourself with these questions. Take this chance to grab a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen and we will get started. All right, question number one. Where in the world is this picture? And the picture that we're looking at is of a large auditorium with multi multiple tiers of seating around the edges going up to the roof. Um, is it A, in Austria, B, in New York City, C, in Italy, or D, in Australia? Question number two, name this plant. And the plant picture we're looking at is of a light pink and white flower with lots and lots of petals um, and a darker pinkish purple center. Is it A, a narcissus, B, a hydrangea, C, a carnation, or D, a dahlia? Question number three, name this Western radio show that ran from 1952 to 1961, starring William Conrad as Marshall Matt Dillon. When it moved to TV, it became one of the longest running TV shows. Is it A, Wagon Train, B, Little House on the Prairie, C, Bonanza, or D, Gunsmoke? Question number four, which of Shakespeare's plays are the longest? Is it A, Othello, B, The Tempest, C, Hamlet, or D, Romeo and Juliet? Question number five, where in the world is this? And the picture that we're looking at is of a sort of temple looking structure or possibly some sort of palace um, with lots of um, pointy parts at the top of the palace and it looks like it's a very older structure um, possibly made out of concrete or something like that there's palm trees around it all right is this in a india b peru c germany or d cambodia Question number six, name this plant. And we're looking again at a very soft looking flower that is light pink um, with lots of, uh, these petals are larger than the last flower we looked at and it's got sort of a yellowish center. Is this A, a peony? B, a rose thrift? C, a zinnia? Or D, a camellia? Question number seven, the Heisman Trophy is presented in what sport? Is it A, hockey, B, baseball, C, basketball, or D, football? Question number eight, in what state is this? And what we're looking at is a picture of really smooth, um, rocks, large sort of boulders that are kind of a orangish, orangish red color. Um, and we're in sort of a, a, a walkway through the middle of these rocks. So is this an A, Utah, B, Montana, C, Texas, or D, Arizona? Question number nine, what full length Disney animated film was only shown in 14 theaters across the globe for its complicated audio. Was it A, Pinocchio, 
B, Fantasia, C, Peter Pan, or D, Make Mine Music? Question number 10. How many years was American Bandstand broadcast? Was it A, 23 years, B, 28 years, C, 34 years, or D, 37 years? Question number 11, where in the world is this? And the picture we're looking at is of a building or a some sort of temple or structure of some sort with a roof that has sort of a curved um, up um, edge to it, sort of flared at the end. Is it in A, Mexico, B, China, C, Turkey, or D, Japan? Question number 12, name that plant. And what we're looking at is a picture of a red flower with about five or six petals on it um, and a long center that's sort of red and yellow. Is this A, bird of paradise, B, hibiscus, C, lily, or D, iris? Question number 13. Which blood type is known as the universal donor? Is it A, A positive, B, A negative, C, O negative, or D, O positive? Question number 14. Ward and June were two main characters from what famous TV show of the late 50s and the early 60s? Was it A, Father Knows Best, B, Lassie, C, Leave It to Beaver, or D, The Twilight Zone? Question number 15. What color is zero on a roulette wheel? Is it A, green, B, red, C, black, or D, white. Question number 16. Where in the world is this? Is it A in Canada? B in Denmark? C in Ireland? Or D in the United Kingdom? And I forgot to describe the picture. It is a picture of, it looks like a Ferris wheel, a large Ferris wheel around a lot of buildings on um, some sort of uh, water. Question number 17, name that plant. And the picture we're looking at is of a um, flower, which is very light pink with lots of sort of pointy petals. And it is coming off of, um, it's, it's on the water. Is this A, a daffodil? B, an edelweiss? C, a petunia? Or D, a water lily? Question number 18, <clears throat> what was the most visited national park in 2019? Was it A, the Grand Canyon, B, Yellowstone, C, the Smoky Mountains, or D, Yosemite? Question number 19, who was the first cartoon character to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Is it A, Mickey Mouse, B, Popeye, C, Charlie Brown, or D, Bugs Bunny? And question number 20, our final question, where in the world is this? And the picture we're looking at is a long, beautiful garden with lots of flowers around it and um, a fountain in the center and it's surrounded by lots of older looking beautiful buildings. Is this A in Finland, B in Austria, C in Switzerland, or D in Canada? All right, now it is answer time.
So we're going to go through each of these questions again, and I am going to say the correct answer. And you can check yourself off, give yourself a point if you want for each correct answer. Again, this is just for fun. We don't, we're not going to collect them, but here we go. All right, question number one was, where in the world is this? And the answer was B, New York City. The picture we're looking at um, is a photo of the old Metropolitan Opera House. It's sometimes referred to as the Old Met. Um, the Metropolitan Opera House opened on October 22nd, 1883. The Met had a seating capacity of 3,625 seats with 224 standing room places. Question number two was name this plant and the answer was D, Dahlia. The Dahlia was declared the national flower of Mexico in 1963. Question number three was name this Western radio show that ran from 1952 to 1961, starring William Conrad as Marshall Matt Dillon. When it moved to TV, it became one of the longest running TV shows. The answer was D, Gunsmoke. Question number four, which of Shakespeare's plays uh, was the longest? The answer is C, Hamlet. Um, very little is known about Shakespeare's early years. In fact, his actual date of birth remains a mystery to this day. During his lifetime, William Shakespeare wrote around 37 plays uh, for the theater and over 150 poems. Question number five was, where in the world is this? The answer was D, Cambodia. This is a photo of Angkor Wat, a temple complex in Siem Reap, Cambodia. Since the 1990s, Angkor Wat has become a major tourist destination. In 1993, there were only 7,650 visitors to the site, and the, the number has reached over a million in 2007 and over 2.6 million by 2018. Question number six was name this plant. The answer was the peony. Peonies are the floral symbol of China. They're the state flower of Indiana and the 12th wedding anniversary flower. Question number seven, the Heisman Trophy is presented in what sport? The answer is D, football. The Heisman Memorial Trophy is awarded annually to the outstanding player in NCAA football. Winners epitomize great ability combined with diligence, perseverance, and hard work. It is presented by the Heisman Trophy Trust in early December before the postseason bowl games. Question number eight was, in what U.S. state is this? The answer was D, Arizona. This is a photo of Antelope Canyon, a sandstone canyon located near Page, Arizona. It is extremely popular with photographers because of tranquil shapes in the rocks formed by flash flooding. Though the corridors are very tall, the width is very narrow, so visitors can enter only by guided tour. Question number nine was what, what full-length Disney animated film was only shown in 14 theaters across the globe for its complicated audio? And the answer is B, Fantasia. Fantasia is a 1940 American animated film produced by Walt Disney and released by Walt Disney Productions. It is the third Disney animated feature film. The film consists of eight animated segments set to pieces of classical music, seven of which are performed by the Philadelphia Orchestra. Question number 10 uh, was, how many years was American Bandstand broadcast? The answer is D. 37 years. American Bandstand was an American music performance and dance television program that aired in various versions from 1952 to 1989 and was hosted from 1956 until its final season by Dick Clark, who also served as the program's producer. Question number 11 was where in the world is this? And the answer is B, China. The Forbidden City is a palace complex in central Beijing, China. 
The Forbidden City served as the home of Chinese emperors and their households and was the ceremonial and political center of the Chinese government for almost 500 years. The Forbidden City was declared a World Heritage Site in 1987. Question number 12, name that plant, and the answer was B, hibiscus. There are over 200 species of hibiscus that can be found in the warm and tropical regions all over the world. These flowers are eaten in salad in the Pacific Islands. Question number 13, which blood type is known as the universal donor? The answer um, is C, O negative. O negative blood type is relatively rare. A person with O negative blood type is a universal donor, but they can only receive blood from the same group. Question number 14, Ward and June were two main characters from what famous TV show of the late 50s and early 60s? And the answer was C, Leave it to Beaver. One of the undisputed classics of American television, the weekly half hour sitcom, Leave it to Beaver was created by Joe Connolly and Bob Mosher. These veterans of radio and early television found inspiration for the show's characters, plots, and dialogue in the lives, experiences, and conversations of their own children. Leave it to Beaver is one of the first primetime sitcom series written from a child's point of view. Question number 15, what color is zero, or has the number zero on it on a roulette wheel? The answer was A, green. Roulette is a casino game named after the French word meaning little wheel. It is the third most popular game found in the casino. Slots and craps are the only two games that are more popular amongst players. Question number 16, where in the world is this? The answer was D, United Kingdom. The London Eye, or the Millennium Wheel, is a cantilevered observation wheel on the south bank of the R River Thames in London. The London Eye was originally intended as a temporary attraction with a five-year lease. In December 2001, operators submitted an application to give the London Eye permanent status, and the application was granted in July 2002. Question number 17, name that plant. The answer was D, water lily. Water lilies are found in the Americas, Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. Although most water lily species prefer the still waters of ponds and lakes, some can be found growing in slow flowing rivers and creeks. Question number 18, what was the most visited national park in 2019? And the answer was C, Smoky Mountains. It is estimated that two, or sorry, that 12.5 million people visited the Smoky Mountains in 2019, followed by the Grand Canyon with 5.7 million visitors. Question number 19, who was the first cartoon character to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? The answer was A, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse got his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1978. Other iconic Disney characters that have a star already include Donald Duck, Tinkerbell, Winnie the Pooh, Snow White, and Muppets, Kermit the Frog. And the final question, where in the world is this? The answer was B, Austria. Um, this is a photo of the Mirabel Gardens in Salzburg, Austria. It is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Salzburg. Several scenes from The Sounds of Music were filmed here, including the scenes of Maria and the children singing Do Re Mi. Okay, and that concludes our trivia for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you got had a good time and um, got a few answers correct. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you soon.